dolls, how are you doing today? Welcome to the dollhouse. So we have some guests here today. Hi girls. Hi. Hey. How are you? So we got Shy, you guys know Shy. Model, runway coach, everything fashion. Kelly, first time here. Mixologist, massage therapist, a master of relaxation. Or to turn up. <laughs> Ashley, <laughs> esthetician, beauty extraordinaire, all things skincare, face care, makeup, the good things. And then the queen of the ballroom, OTT, over the top, <laughs> Sasha Mizrahi. I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> so today we are going to talk about what we blogged about and we got a little risky today. So we're going to be talking about appreciation versus appropriation. So are you a fashionista or a culture vulture? Um, so I feel like the best way to start the conversation is probably to start off light. And as you dolls know, I love me a little platinum wig. I don't do the cornrows so much, but I do like a platinum wig. And is that okay? Am I stealing European culture? Mm -mm. I don't think so. No. What do you think? I don't think it's necessarily stealing. It's not even stealing. It's you like a certain style and you wonder how it would look on you, so why not try it? Yeah, and I feel like everyone is doing it now. There, There's not a nationality that does not try a color, a red color, black color, orange color. It's just in right now. It's not a culture thing. It's, okay. a, it's a look good thing. If it I looks good, right. If it looks good, right. It's a look good. Yeah. Right. It's, it's a look good. So. Mm -hmm. so how do you feel about a girl that goes on a Jamaican trip and just get some cornrows. Can I just, okay. So, Adele. Okay. I was like, Adele's gonna have the best time of her life. I didn't think nothing of it until everybody else got mad. I'm like, she's about to be jamming. She's gonna shake the shimmy. She's gonna do all that. I was like, she's in it. She's, right. she's going to have fun. And then people got mad. So I feel like the intent behind what's happening sometimes is just as important as what is actually happening. I agree. Yeah. I like that. I, my stance is like, if you kill it, I'm okay. Mm -hmm. If it's janky, mmm. Try again. Start over. I agree. Yeah, try again. So I don't feel like that you can necessarily steal a culture when it comes to a hairstyle or a hair color, but you can mess it up. Yeah. But that's, another, good. that's you, a different conversation. You can right? do it wrong. That's a not list. That's, that's not, not a. a okay. Yeah. But hair is something that's like super temporary. That's not forever. Getting my hair colored or getting some rose, pop it out, you know. What about like plastic surgery? Because I'm not gonna lie, these soup coolers before they was popping <laughs> were definitely a problem. And so now in popular culture, it's like cool to get your lips yeah. pumped up. Everybody as wants lip fillers. Lip, lip fillers. Everybody. So is, is KJ, my girl, you my girl KJ, Kylie Jenner, <laughs> is that appropriation or is that appreciation? Is she just trying to be fire or is she? In the wrong. That's appreciation. Yeah. I say it's appreciation. Honestly, when it, when, for me, when it comes to either or, I feel like it, it depends on your intent behind it. Right. She's clearly doing this for a fashionable purposes, you know, to look good, to enhance yes. what she already has. Right. And then you have the people out there that do it just because I want to look a certain type of way or. Right. I want to fill a certain void to fit in with a certain type of culture. Exactly. Which, okay. And then again, in the long run, makes you look stupid because you don't know how to do it right. or appropriate it, if you will. Okay. Mm -hmm. but or you go too far. Far. Right. They, you can't go too far. Fit, but you mentioned fitting in. Uh, that's interesting to me because I watched this interview with Iggy Azalea and that girl cried her soul about how she loves rap music, mm -hmm. but everybody feels like she's appropriating the culture. And she's like, I don't fit in with these kind of people because that's not my jam and right. these kind of people think I'm faking it and I'm really passionate about it and I have all these barriers to my feelings she's like I got this accent and I got my skin but my feelings are in hip-hop yeah. so when you fit in when you're trying to fit in but you get it wrong what's that then you just gotta be you yeah, yeah. and then that's 100%. where the whole situation is not appropriation it's doing what you feel is best or that will make you happy like, I'm so pro live your best life. That is insane. Mm -hmm. If that is getting lips. I tried Botox. I was like, ooh, I can't be happy. Like, I'm always team. Like, if it's not going to hurt anybody and it's making you happy, then live your best life. I got Botox. I didn't even need it, but I got it. <laughs> <laughs> but I got it, and I felt good. So I don't care what Joe Schmo thought and what this person thought, because I felt good. So 
I mean, I think her thing is trying to fit in with somebody instead of just being like, this is me. Right. This is where I'm at. I fall in between. That makes sense. Right. And what well, I found... everybody feel good. <laughs> <laughs> and, what yes, I found, right. and what I found out to be true is like, you get, you, you, you get a lot more respect and recognition for being who you are as opposed to trying to be the cookie cutter or the mold that everyone wants you to yeah. be. Right. You a get lot a lot farther. I feel like mm -hmm. a lot of times when you're trying to fit in and that's how you fall into stereotypes, which would be uh, offensive. Yeah. Stereotypes right. are offensive, so it's like, oh, this is this, and this is how this, this, this person acts. So that and makes sense for fitting in. Yeah. All, right. all right, so Sasha, we're going to take a step into the ballroom here. We're going to uh -oh. get into your room. <laughs> so I feel Welcome. like I can't... One of my ask, favorite rooms. <laughs> one of my favorite yeah. room. All right. So oh. I feel like now you there is not a, not even just a female, just a person that is not yes and snapping and snatching and hey girl Guilty. and all of those things <laughs> and, I, and I'm here for it that's my whole lingo so but my question is is it appropriation if you do you have to give homage to the ballroom in order to use the lingo or is it mainstream now and it's just fair game and we can say it I want to tell you this See, it's a lot of discussion within our community about that because we said they, they, they say it all the time. Straight people give us back our language. Mm. I don't know. You're not getting it back. You're not getting it back. But the way I see I y'all, if you want to call somebody a cunt, at the end of the day, call them a cunt. Because if that's just how they make you feel, yes. And if you wanted to say, if something just... Just yes, up. But I, don't, I like me. the other word. I was not. I was not. not the one. Oh, baby, that's not. Nobody can no, say that. No, no. In the ballroom, the ballroom. It has, like, it has a whole new meaning. Yeah, it's a very it, like. Like we could say like, uh, Portia, your outfit is kind, honey. Yeah, or like cunty. Yeah. That's different. Yeah. 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 So yeah, it's different. When something's I didn't know. It's not. And then like for another. See, that's Tuesday. Okay. Then you got the you got the yes ma'am. You and then now see now one thing that I will say that is universal is the way you use the word bitch. Cause that can be a lot of things. Oh my god. It could. Yes, yeah. it can. So can we use it or or do we need to like is it appropriation? Can I continue? Honestly May for I me. Proceed? Honestly, for me, if it was me, I really don't care. Okay. What you say. <laughs> Just don't get disrespectful about it. Yeah. I understand. That's, that's fair. I think that is universal with any culture yeah. that you are borrowing from. Because it is diverse. So I feel it's like now. Different. Yeah, and you come into contact with so many different kinds of people now. We are a very assimilated culture, which is good. So yeah. anytime that you are being influenced by another culture, I think it's important to remain respectful. Yeah, I will yeah. say, yeah. it might be a little sketchy if the straight men get to start guessing and start shade <laughs> and things of that nature. Because y'all out there, it's scary. I feel like straight men don't use shade now. They like no shade or some Girl. Shade. I feel like shade has, has Girl. Is, is crossing the gender. Slowly. Yeah. Right. But shade it's, is making its way super mainstream. It is, but, ooh, but when you start talking about the tea and things, now wait a minute tea. now. Okay. And that's another conversation for another day. <laughs> <laughs> so I do have one more question on this so. though. So is it okay when things like I would feel like if something was going more mainstream then it would be more acceptable. So is it more so if people are finding it more acceptable but just not for you or is it you know what I mean like or is that a sign of things being more accepted in general or like a rise into universal acceptance? I understand. I think that comes with the uh, respect because the thing is, That's true. if I'm offended, if Sasha is yes and all over Sashayin. the place and sashaying, but I'm okay to yes, that's disrespectful. Yes. And the mainstream sometimes does that. They'll mm -hmm. take something from the culture and be okay with it, but when you do it, it's, yeah, it's something else. Wrong. Yeah, if that makes right. sense. So it can be either thing. I think it's it's topic specific, right? To whether mainstream is a good it's sign intention. or a bad sign. Yeah, it's, it's intention that goes back to intention. Yeah. We talked about hairstyles and hair color. We talked about plastic surgery. We talked about the language. Yes, honey. So I feel like because it's October, we have to talk about Halloween. Halloween is a lot of people in trouble, right? Mm -hmm. So um, obviously, we got to start off by saying blackface is not a thing. Whiteface, not a thing. 
if you have to change your complexion to a complexion that is a human complexion that is not the costume that you should be wearing it's literally that simple but there's other controversial costumes that people feel like are cultural appropriation that may walk that line of offensive or not appropriate like a sexy nun is that a thing is it a is it offensive to the catholic culture and yeah it's offensive but can it's, we do it it's halloween it it may be offensive to the to the to the catholic diocese and whatnot but for that 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 perverted individual out there that <laughs> it's a it fantasy it is yeah, halloween it's, it's a fantasy okay. and, and that's what halloween is about then. Right, right so there are some offensive Acts that are okay for Halloween. Yes. So here's the thing. I, that's why I don't want to necessarily co-sign because I okay. So I feel like if you do it, at least you have to acknowledge and accept that you're offending somebody. Okay. So if it's you, that's that's do what you do. I've been a sexy something or other. <laughs> Whatever. But somebody dig up somebody time, dig up that on her face. Literally, yeah. go way back, y'all. Yeah. But you have to. I just think you should be aware of the people. So I have Native American friends. I have never thought of people dressing up as Native Americans and cowboys, anything about it. I probably have dressed up myself that way. And then somebody said something and I'm like, okay, I could see how that would be offensive. Did I mean it offensive? Absolutely not. Did they really so, that, so that goes to- So they posted something on Facebook that I saw that was saying that that offended them. But then when you that stop and you think no, about it, so and the cowboys like, and Indians, Indians, and, Indians you know, I didn't think it was that. But an Indian is, you can't that. dress up as an Indian. That's like me saying I want to dress up as a black girl. But they I do because, because they have girl. ceremonial gowns, though. Yeah. So that's kind of like making light that's of like so. their ceremony and but their like, process. But that's the same yeah. thing as sexy now. So it like is. So you kind of have to accept it. You have to take it in. You know, spirit. You know, how would you dress up as a sexy Indian? How would you lie or Martin? That is an outfit. But Shanae is a fictional character since Shanae is not a but ethnicity. Would, but would you be offended if I wore it? Hell no. If you did it right. right. Ah, <laughs> if you do it wrong, I'm going to be offended. Right. right. Like, <laughs> what are you? Yeah. Right. I'm saying, what, what are you? Because I feel like, right now. Right. I, feel like, wow, I, feel, right. I feel like that clarity is important. Yeah, so right. when I say if you do it right, it's not just being fashionable. It's being easily identified. Because that runs in, I've seen this happen, I want to say like three years ago, there was a little Wayne costume that was wildly popular. And like some people, cause a lot, and a lot of females chose it for some reason, but some like Caucasian females chose it and like some of them killed it and it was fine. Right. And then some of them just looked at like, and that's when it's offensive. So when I said, it's like clarity is important too. Being little Wayne is different. Being a raggedy mess with face tats and some bad dreads is something else. Right. Right. And I think too, just taking a good costume. Then you need to choose another one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Keep scrolling. It is not hard to be a ghost. It is not hard to be a ghost. There's so many options. Don't tell people with no sheets over their hips. <laughs> uh-uh, make it fashionable. Get a blue sheet. Make it fashionable. 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 If it's not a human complexion, it's a go. If it's a human complexion, it's a no. We can all agree on that. Hundred yeah, percent. Just, just be yeah. responsible. Yeah. 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 On Halloween. Yes. Okay. Make Middle. smart choices. Make smart choices. That's that's always that is never bad advice. You're trying to yes. Don't be a slutty nun. Ever. Don't be a slutty. I feel like you're against slutty nun. I was a slutty nun probably for quite some time. Actually, oh, no, okay. I wasn't. I was a secretary. <laughs> I'd be a slutty secretary. Hundred percent. Just. Be, <laughs> I mean, he did sexy everything. I was going to say, sexy. I love, every time a Halloween costume come up, I don't think we it's always anything sexy. but sexy. Sexy crayon. Like, what the <laughs> yeah, that's a sexy purple crayon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that we have made some firm, loose guidelines on appropriation versus appreciation. I think, one, intention really matters. Absolutely. Having good intentions matter. And as a, as a human race, we should always be seeking to find a person's intention before we are attacking the yeah. information be Understanding. Offense. Understanding is important. A little more right. yeah. understanding. And then slaying. You gotta slay. If you don't yeah. slay, 
Make it look good. Right? Make it look good. At least try. Put forth some effort. All right. So, <laughs> dolls, what we want to know is, obviously, what are you being this Halloween? What's your costume? I need some ideas, honestly. Two, do you believe appropriation is even a thing? Do you think once is mainstream, it's fair game? Join the conversation below. Do not forget to like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Share with your friends. Or on Instagram at Porsche Porsche. That's P-O-R-S-C-H-E. P-O-R-S-H-I-A. How do they sign you, Shy? They sign me at Shy Motto, Instagram, or Facebook. Uh -huh. Shy you. Motto on both? Yes. All right. And Kelly? Uh, weed is a flower and on Instagram. Weed is a flower. <laughs> weed is a flower. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it really is, though. Beautiful it's a beautiful flower. flower. It's a Kelly's a botanist too. <laughs> <laughs> Professional. Pretty please house of vanity. And Sasha? Oh Jesus, you can find me everywhere. Everywhere. Oh, I love it. But no, seriously, you can find me on Instagram at Sasha Miss Rahi um, and on Facebook at Sasha Miss Rahi McFadden. Alright. Thank you, Dallas, for stopping out. Have a good day.